What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm in the boat. It's actually above freezing. It's like 47 a day. Quick video. Tackle Warehouse order just came in. I'm delivering your reels, baits, anything you've ordered, sent in. I'm getting them out here today. What is today? Wednesday? Thursday? Thursday? I don't know. But anyway, got these in. You guys always ask me what kind of grease, oil, and stuff do I use. Got it in here. A lot of it. I also ordered some new stuff from Missile Baits. See if we can pop those open. Uh, I don't have my regular knife on me, so I'm going to use the small version. Let's see if I can get it open. So I'm not using the big, the big version. stuff receipt shipping label return all right so you always ask me i always get messages on reels i post on facebook instagram all that kind of stuff what grease do i use this is what i'm using 99 percent of the time actually probably like 90 percent of the time i use duthalon grease as well great stuff duthalon is a great stuff this is great stuff as well duthalon stuff is a little more tedious to apply since it comes in little tins and you have to apply it i do it by brush my small brush, the syringe style like this, just squeeze it, good to go. I got in a ton of these, like a lot of them, a lot of them. I got in, I think 10 of these, grease wise, um, just cause I go through them a lot. I am doing so many reels right now and I've been on so many reels since November. So I appreciate you guys sending me reels to clean, upgrade bearings, polish, all that kind of stuff. I'm going through ungodly amounts of grease and oil. The oil I use mainly is Lucas oil. I use it because it is good oil. I use it on everything but bearings. It's a little too thick for bearings, like spool bearings, um, but you can use it on your frame. You can use it on frame bearings. You can use a worm gear. But this is the Lucas Oil. I also use it because it's readily available if you want to maintain your own personal reels. Um, yes, there is better oils out there. There's ZPI oils, there's Duthalon oils. Stuff's a little harder to get, a little more expensive. So if you just want to maintain your reels, I try to use really good products that you can readily get when you need to, to maintain your reels until you send them back to me on your yearly cleaning. Uh, more grease more oil this stuff will last me hopefully the grease will last me to the end of the season uh more grease more grease more grease other things i got are eyes um just five mil black eyes for jerk baits I'm painting up a lot of jerk baits right now as well. I've got more jerk baits I gotta paint up. And I also needed some five mil eyes. So I ended up getting one, two, three, four packs of five mil eyes. These are just the six cents crush 3D eyes. Just solid black. Standard eye that I use on my jerk baits, kind of like a signature thing. Signature thing. Straight up black eye. And then I got in hooks. I got in tons of uh, VMC hooks. Trouble hooks for jerk baits and crank baits, square bills, weight baits, all that kind of stuff. I probably got in 20, 25 packs of these. So a bunch of those, but these new baits, um, these are just the inline hooks. These are extra strong troubles. Great hooks for the money. These are excellent, excellent hooks for the money. You're not paying 80 cents a hook. Um, they're great hooks that I keep in the boat just to swap out. I can go through a bunch of hooks during the day and it's, you know, just great hooks. Great hooks for the money. VMC makes a phenomenal hook. So goes with that. These are new. This is new from Missile Baits. These are the Chunky D's. Love Missile Baits. Absolute Missile Bait fan. Destroyers, baby destroyers. The D-bombs, the crawls that discontinued, which kind of sucks. Um, the drop shots, everything. So I got in Chunky D's in Green Pumpkin. Bruiser Flash. Bammer Crawler. I call it Gobi, but it's Green Pumpkin. It was a Gold Flash. Green Pumpkin Flash. Green Pumpkin Flash. 
Bammercraw, Green Pumpkin Orange. And then I got in Superbug, Green Pumpkin, kind of a blue flay, kind of a muted color. Awesome colors, let me pop one of these open. I've um, just always been a big fan of the missile stuff. I like their packaging, but let's be honest. Man, can we do away with like plastic packaging everywhere? I can't repurpose this. I repurpose these. But this stuff just gets opened up and I throw them in a box. And then I just throw away a bunch of plastic. Let me see. Man, I know why they do it. The clamshells keep the form, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. But a chunky D. Slick old bait. So they come separate. It's kind of got that uh, hinge or what do you mean? The flange for like a bio spawn or the uh, rage crawl, something like that. Everybody's going to that flange just because it moves a lot of water and it kicks out a lot harder. It's a nice little bait though. Hmm. That should be slick. Back of a jig, finesse jig. Uh, it's not too bulky, which is really nice. Hopefully you can see that there. That's a green pumpkin black flake. Probably the only color you need, that in black and blue. Awesome little trailer. And it's probably great for punching as well since it's so slender. Um, these won't really hang up. They're pretty, uh, pretty loose or soft. But no, that's gonna be a killer little bait. Nice little ribs, kind of like their D-bomb. Nice flat surface like their craw. This would be nice on a uh, football jig as well. Just nice and compact. Crap, I might have to go out and throw those and not catch anything because the waters are all frozen around here. Unless you go to the big lakes and those like two and a half hours away. So, Chunky D's. Look at this guy. I think this guy on just a uh, swing head like the Omega mock-up head. Goby style, that green pumpkin gold. I think that's gonna be killer for just goby small mouthing. And then everything else is just typical jig colors that I like to use and try out. So I think that is it. I put all the stuff back in because it's gotta go up in the shot. That is it. Smash it up. We passed over 4,000 subs. Appreciate you guys for watching. It's supposed to be nice. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I'm hoping to hopefully get out sometime soon. So hopefully we can start getting the fish. It's been a really long winter, a really busy winter. So I appreciate you guys. Talk to you guys later. Peace.